here. I just want to make a quick intro. This is how to do B58 coil packs on M5X engines. And that would be the ones with the two bolt coil packs. That's the style I'm going to be doing today. I don't know if there's a style for going to B58 coil packs on a pencil coil style valve cover, possibly. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But some of my pricing today in the video, after going through and editing it, I realized some of my pricing was a little off. I'll put all the links to everything in the description. And if you're here within the first five minutes, you'll probably won't see the links. That's what always seems to happen. So I'm a little slow on that. But I'll put the links in description for these parts. Some of my prices may be a little off, but this is a awesome upgrade and very, very well worth it. Okay, so this is what it looks like stock, obviously. If you own E46 with pencil coils, you know. And this is actually set up for two bolt coils, but I only wanted to run pencil coils because I had a pencil coil harness on here already before I did the M52 swap. So I just clicked these all down in place and it works fine. Um, you can see the two bolt here and the brackets I bought that I'm about to show you are for that. They are for the two bolt valve cover. I don't know if they work on a normal pencil coil valve cover, like an M56 valve cover or not. I will have to try that and verify that. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull these coils. I'm gonna pull the, pull the plugs and replace them. And I'm gonna pull this harness because I need to cut these plugs off here and re-solder on the correct plug for the B58 coil packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that. I wanted to get a clip of all these parts together before installing anything. So the biggest part of this kit is these tuner tech brackets and these bolt right onto your valve cover and accept these B58 coil packs. You can do this other ways too, but this is the cleanest, easiest solution. And I'm you know, really happy that you can even buy these online. It helps out a lot. So these coil packs here are from FCP Euro and they're actually the same price as OE pencil coils. Actually, I think they're even a little cheaper. So the only thing you're really doing is spending the $75, I think, on the Tuner Tech, which comes with the pigtails already. And I think it comes with some crimp connectors and stuff and some cool stickers, of course, you know, that makes it all worth it. So if you gotta do coil packs, you might as well to go ahead and upgrade. Obviously, you're gonna need your cartoon for this, but I'm guessing if you're watching this video or if you're thinking about doing this upgrade, you're probably already turboed and already know about having your cartoon and stuff like that. Don't just put these on a stock car and think it's gonna run right. And the benefit of doing this is these are a lot more modern and you don't have to have as small of a gap on your spark plugs. So you can have a little bit bigger gap and stuff like that. It's gonna idle smoother. It's gonna perform better overall. So this is a really smart idea. I think, you know, you can do this for $350, probably all said and done um, after shipping costs and all that. Uh, that's about the price of six new coils that were made 20 years ago, you know, 20 year old technology. I know that they used them for a while after the 46, but you might as well upgrade. Coil packs out and I got the old plugs out and I'll be putting new plugs in. If you guys are wondering what plugs are run on your Turbo E46, right there, BKR7E. And I'll go ahead and gap these, put them in and put the bracket and stuff on this valve cover and see how it all fits. All right, so the new plugs are in, I gap them at 0.020. Uh, that's usually what you'd gap these plugs at. And that was also what was recommended to me by the people who are selling the tuner tech brackets. Obviously you can adjust them to idle better, whatever you can change the specs. That was just a good starting point and it should work. Uh, I'm pretty sure based on these brackets that you have to remove this aluminum or galvanized insert and then you can install these brackets. So you gotta get rid of this galvanized insert because it's made for the old bolt-in coils and we're not using those anymore. So we're just gonna get rid of that and put in our new. What to do is get a small screwdriver here and bend these little tabs up over each one of these plastic posts because this whole piece in here just pops in over that. So once you bend all these tabs up, you just peel it off. Hopefully we'll try it here.
I'm no uh, professional, so you can do it a lot more careful. My valve cover is probably gonna be cracked after this, you know. Plastic valve cover activities. All right, old mounting bracket is off. It's basically what this is. Uh, it's going in the trash now. Now we're gonna grab a coil and see how this works. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm guessing that just, they all just drop in there just like that. Wow, that's nice and convenient. So I think part of the reason you have to take out the old bracket too is not only because you're replacing it with these, but it allows these to go down far enough to engage. All right, just like that, looks factory. But you can see here, they all lined up perfectly and fit right in. No issues with any of these bolt holes on the valve cover or any of the holes for the coil packs. Everything lined up perfectly. Awesome product for the price and very simple upgrade. No, they're not red, so it doesn't look like it gained a lot of horsepower or anything. But if you're like me, you kind of like the OEM look. So I say that as I have a PPF manifold over here, but yeah, let's ignore, ignore that for now. Okay, so I went ahead and started putting on the new connectors so that I knew how to even explain this to you guys. And big thanks to Armin on E46 Owners. I'll put his blog in the description. He shows how to wire these and do this. And on these, this is actually the, considered the top, not the part that looks like the top. So the blue wire is actually your power wire and then yellow's ground and then red is your trigger wire. You may have a harness that looks like this with the horrible resistor that throws a bunch of codes or you may have one like the one I am using with no resistor. I think the difference is these are older and these are newer. I went ahead and cut off all these plugs and I'm soldering them on right now. So red is your power on your M54 harness, so it goes to blue. On all right, box. so there's the coil packs all in with the plugs. The harness turned out acceptable. I'm no professional. Um, you can see from here, there's some wires showing and that would be the grounds, but that is how the harness that I'm using works. It's not the same style as the older style where it's all tucked into this box and runs to the actual ECU box. They are actually grounded out on the actual valve cover bolts. So everything's plugged in. Now for the most important part of all, the tune. So Jules of E-Racing sent me a tune. Let me go ahead here. So I was having an issue with codes, all these misfires. I don't know if I had an issue with coil packs with that resistor in that coil pack harness. Now I'm using a harness that doesn't have the resistor, so we're gonna see if that gets fixed. Uh, that's not the only reason I'm doing these coils. I'm just really curious to see how they act compared to the pencil coils. So I'm gonna go ahead and write a tune on from B-Racing for these B58 coil packs, and we'll start this thing up. All right, so you're gonna notice quickly, I don't have a dash in the car. Oh, uh, a cluster, I have a dash. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. I have the tune on here. First start, so I'll be happy if it even runs because then we can go from there. Wow. It's like 30 degrees out here too. Actually, it might be in the 20s right now. And uh, this <laughs> that's pretty impressive. And right off the bat, I know that's going to sound crazy, but the car, like the steering wheel and stuff, it just doesn't feel like it's vibrating as much. I could be crazy, but it doesn't feel like it's vibrating very much. That is pretty good for 
the first attempt of all of this. Huge thanks to B-Racing Tuning, obviously. I'm gonna let this thing warm up and I'm gonna take it down the road. All right, so I put my cluster back in the car. I've been using it in a different car right now. Um, apparently my trunk's open, so let me fix that. And then I'll try to do a couple pulls, nothing crazy. Just something in this video to show that these things actually work. All right, so I'm already driving it. You'd have to feel this for yourself. It's really hard just to sit here and say that it feels smoother. Um, if you guys, you know, can't experience it, but it really does. It just sounds smoother. It doesn't, I don't have a way of explaining the sound, I guess. It's really nice actually it makes me not want to make the car louder and everything because it's kind of almost like more enjoyable to drive right now because of these coils um, I'll try to get on it up here somewhere just so we can hear some of those turbo noises It's an M52, so it actually had square coils on it originally, and I just shoved some pencil coils in there, which uh, helped a lot too, but this is way better. That's awesome. Well, I'm really happy with that upgrade. I've always been really curious of, you know, how it would act and if I could tell a difference, and I definitely can. The only way I can compare it to how the car used to be, where you guys can understand, is, you know, just the vibration of the car even running, period. You just really can't feel it. It's so much smoother. And when you drive it, you know, you can feel it in your throttle and everything. Um, I highly recommend this, especially if you're on original coils and you're having them go bad here and there and you need to upgrade them all, this is not that much more expensive, like I said at the beginning of the video. So, thanks a lot guys. Please comment and uh, subscribe. I hate asking you guys to do that, but that's all I ask for. Thank you. I can't even feel this car running right now. Usually you can feel the car kind of vibrate, but I can't even feel that it's on right now. I can just hear it. 